If America is to be the global leader in transitioning to a clean energy economy, we need to give every state, including California, their fair share of financial support. California needs a leader who will fight to remove unfair roadblocks, such as arbitrary state caps that limit investment in clean technology. Katie Porter is putting Congress on notice of head of her U.S. Senate campaign. Porter announced her candidacy earlier this month in a brilliant ad. The threat from so-called leaders like Mitch McConnell has too often made the United States Senate the place where rights get revoked, special interests get rewarded, and our democracy gets rigged. Especially in times like these, California needs a warrior in Washington. That's exactly why I'm announcing my candidacy for the United States Senate in 2024. Now, she's making sure everybody on Capitol Hill remembers her name. Mr. Speaker, I rise up for California's children, our communities, and our environment. The vast majority of American school buses run on diesel, a major source of pollution that contributes to the climate crisis. As a result, bus emissions worsen our air quality with significant harm around schools, in residential areas, and within the passenger cabin. This is a serious problem for our environment and our children's health. The bipartisan infrastructure law that I supported invests in a solution. The Clean School Bus Program funds $5 billion for the purchase of electric school buses, improving the air for our kids and our communities. However, the Clean School Bus Program unfairly targets California. Even though our state has nearly 13% of school children and the second lowest busing rate in the country, ahead only of Mississippi, the law Im imposes unfairly a 10% state cap on the funds. And even worse, to date, California has only gotten 7.33% of the clean school bus program funds. Our state leads the nation in transitioning to electric vehicles and reducing emissions. We need our federal government to be a partner in these efforts. I've seen firsthand the tremendous interest in the clean school bus program when my office hosted grant workshops with school districts and tribal communities to share information about these federal resources for acquiring low and zero emission school buses. But to meet this moment, we need a coordinated effort from federal, state, and local entities to make change. California needs a leader who will fight to remove unfair roadblocks, such as arbitrary state caps that limit investment in clean technology. I will continue to push for a level playing field for California that invests our federal tax dollars where the need is greatest and where they can do the most good.